All right, in this lecture, I want to do a quick review on the law of cosines. It is relatively a little bit more complex than the law of sines, but it is still pretty easy to do. So let's say that we had this triangle with sides A, B, and C, as well as their opposite angles, um, alpha, beta, and gamma, respectively. The law of cosines states that the square of side C is equal to the square of side A plus the square of side B minus 2 times side A times side B times the cosine of gamma. Now the angle within the cosine here will always correspond to the side on the left side of the equation, which in this case is side C. The sides A and B will always be the sides that form the angle used in the equation, which in this case is gamma. So let's do a quick little example to illustrate the law of cosines. If we had this triangle here and we knew that side A was 6 units long and side B was 7 units long and also that the angle gamma was 100 degrees, what would the length of side C be? Well, we know that side C is the unknown and the angle opposite to side C is the angle gamma. We also know that the angle gamma is formed by the sides of A and B. So when we come back to our equation, we can, we can leave C as the unknown and plug in 6 for A, 7 for B, and 100 degrees for angle gamma. Now when we plug in our values, we see that C squared is equal to roughly 99.6, and when we take the square root of both sides, we see that C is equal to 9.98.